This tutorial will step through the actions needed to run a FLAC 3D7 model to solution. Start by creating a new project. Choose File, New Project from the main menu. Name the new project Tutorial. Choose Layout Wide in the main menu to configure the user interface to the layout shown in this tutorial. Choose Panes Building Blocks to create the model geometry using building blocks. Click the gray area inside the model pane. FLAC 3D will ask if you want to create a building block set. Name the set tutorial and make sure the option to include an initial block is unchecked. At this point, the set is empty. Click the Import Blocks button on the toolbar. Select Cylinder T section with Wall. Import the blocks to the default location. The imported blocks are selected. Click white space in the model pane to clear the selection. Click and drag with the right mouse button to change the view angle. The view angle can also be adjusted with the view shift tool seen at the right. At this point, it would be normal to customize the model to match a specific case. But for this tutorial, we'll go straight to generating zones from the blocks. Click the Generate Zones button on the toolbar to create zones and show them in the model pane. For this example, we only need to name the model boundaries. Click the Assign Group Names to Faces Automatically button on the toolbar. Check Ignore Existing Group Names to get the simplest boundary naming. The initial geometry description and region naming are complete. It's a good idea to save the model at this point. It will be useful later for reference. Click the console pane to activate it, then click the Save As button on the toolbar. Save the current model state as Geometry. Note that this save state appears in the project pane at the left. Further specification of this model will require entering commands into a data file. Choose File, New Data File in the main menu. Create a data file called Tutorial underscore Data. The command on line 1 will restore the geometry model that was just saved. The text size in the data file and console pane can be changed by holding down the control key and scrolling with the mouse wheel.
comments can be created by typing a semicolon and then your comment. This is shown on line 2. The constitutive model will be assigned next. To see a list of models you could assign, click the end of one of the command words in line 3 and press the F1 key. This will open the documentation page in the control panel to the right. Expanding this shows the menu. The documentation page can also be opened in a web browser by right-clicking in the control panel and selecting Open in Default Browser. The documentation page can be hidden by clicking the Show or Hide Control Panel button on the toolbar. Beginning in FLAC 3D7, you can also see the options for command words by clicking the end of one and then pressing Control and Space together. This can also be brought up by clicking the arrow that shows up to the right of the selected command line. Properties are assigned using the Zone Property command. Note that constitutive models must be assigned first before properties can be specified for the model. Now assign the boundary conditions for the model. In this case, the model will have roller boundaries on all four sides and the bottom. The top will be left free. The zone face apply command is used to apply boundary conditions at surface faces of the model. Again, you can press the F1 key to see the options for zone face apply. Roller boundaries are created using the Velocity Normal Boundary Condition. Automatic grouping in the model pane provides names for the faces we need to use. Choose Help, Help and Documentation and go to Displacement Boundary for a discussion of why this was done as three separate commands.
Next, it is necessary to assign initial conditions. For this simple example, only stresses due to gravity are needed. Beginning in FLAC 3D7, the model Large Strain command must be given before cycling in every model. FLAC 3D models no longer default to small strain. The model is then solved to reach initial equilibrium. After reaching initial equilibrium, the state is saved with the name initial to serve as a starting point for future changes. A larger FLAC 3D project could start a new data file here with the line model restore initial so the initial state wouldn't have to be recreated for each new investigation. However, this small example will just continue with the same data file. The next step is to excavate the tunnels. Rather than instantly remove zones, it is better practice to excavate gradually so quasi-inertial effects don't exaggerate the failure. This is done using the zone relax excavate command. The group name space comes from the imported building blocks template. The model will be solved to equilibrium again and the final model state saved. Now click the Execute button on the toolbar to run the data file. At this point you can start setting up a plot to show the results. Click on the Plot tab. Show the control panel and then click the Show or Hide the Help button on the toolbar. This will bring up the Plot Item List panel. Add a zone plot using the drop down arrow next to the Build Plot button. In the Attributes table for the Zone Plot, change Slot to Body to show group assignments made by the Building Blocks template. To see model results, set the Color By attribute to Contour, change Value to Stress, and Quantity to Minimum Principle. As the model approaches equilibrium, notice how the plot changes.
With the plot all set up, we can now run the data file again to watch the action in the plot pane. You can watch the stresses reduce in the zones that make up the tunnel, then those zones are removed entirely. The extent of the failure can be seen by setting the color by attribute to label and the label attribute to state. Rotate the model and zoom in with the mouse wheel to see the zone state inside the tunnels. The zone state inside the tunnel can be seen more easily by creating a cut plane. Click on the Apply a Standard View button and select Face Negative Z Direction from the list. This will change the view to look down on the model from above. Then select the cutting tool under the zone state by average plot and make it visible. This will activate the cutting plane and place it halfway into the model geometry. Right now the on mode is selected in the attributes table to the right. This shows the model slice that the cutting plane is directly going through. By turning on the front or back modes, geometry in front of or in back of the cutting plane will be visible. By leaving the front mode on, we can easily see the zone state inside the tunnel. This is a good time to save the project. Choose File Save Project in the main menu. Note that the project file stores plots that have been created. These are not part of the model states. This concludes the Quick Start tutorial.